Many of you seem to be struggling with connecting your MI robot vacuum moppy to a hotspot when there is no Wi-Fi or limited Wi-Fi in your house. Let's try to achieve that today. There are a few problems that you can encounter. One, you're trying to connect a hotspot on the same phone as the app. This does not work. You do require two phones. The second is you're trying to connect to a 5 gigahertz network. I did this and I was wondering why I failed multiple times. This does not work either. You have not reset your robot for network configurations and it's not blinking. You have to fix that. Your phone with the network connection is too far from the robot. I'm using an iPhone for this demonstration. The steps will be similar for Android phones except for one or two steps which I will highlight and point to resources to help you out with that. A couple of prerequisites. I'm assuming you have already installed the MI Robot Vacuum Mop app from the App Store or your Play Store. If not, you need to do that first. You also require two mobile phones. From one phone, you will use a data connection and from the other phone, you will use the app. Both the app and the hotspot on the same phone, unfortunately, do not work. This process works for MI Robot Vacuum Mops Viomi robot vacuums as well as Lidsto robot vacuums. On the phone that you are using for your network, that is the phone that does not have the app, follow these steps. Make sure that your hotspot has only alphabets and numbers. Mine was called S's iPhone which did not work. I had to change it to something simpler. I am using just iPhone in this case. The second step is that you need to turn on the hotspot on the phone that you're connecting to. Some things to keep in mind when you're turning the hotspot on. The robot only connects to a 2.4 gigahertz network. So if you're using some of the newer versions of phone which use 5 gigahertz by default, you will not be able to connect to such networks. So you need to change it. How do you do that? In the phone you're using as the hotspot, in iPhones, when you're enabling the personal hotspot, select maximize compatibility. In Android phones, go to the personal hotspot settings, switch from a 5 gigahertz to a 2.4 gigahertz network. I've put the link in the description that will give you a step-by-step -step guide for different Android phones. This step is important. Make sure you do not miss it. Now on your robot vacuum, press and hold the home and power buttons for three seconds till it starts blinking. If you have voice commands turned on, it will tell you that your robot is ready for network setup. Now coming to the phone that has the MI Home app. The first step is on your mobile with the MI Home app, click add new device. Make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on as indicated by app. Select the robot vacuum and then select the robot that you are adding. As you can see, this same process works for MI, Viomi and Lidsto robot vacuums. Make sure to select the model that you are using. The second step is that the app will tell you to press and hold the power and home button on your robot vacuum. If you have not already done it as I mentioned earlier, do it now before you go to the next step. Make sure that the power and home buttons on your robot are actually blinking. Third step is to add your hotspot name and password. Make sure that you have changed the network to 2.4 GHz on the other phone like I mentioned earlier. If you had not done it, you will not be able to connect to the hotspot. In the next step, as guided by the app, go to your Wi-Fi settings, connect your phone to the Viomi Vacuum XXX or whatever it says on the app when you're trying this out. If you don't see the Viomi Vacuum XXX, it means you have not pressed the power and home buttons properly or the robot is not ready for network connection. Next step. Now the app will ask you to bring your phone with the internet connection closer to the robot. Typically hotspots can work up to 20 meters so you don't need to sit next to your robot. After all of these steps the app should now tell you that the connection is successful and you should be able to start and stop return your robot to the dock. Since my robot vacuum had already created the map you can see that on the screen already. After this step, if you want to see if your robot is really connected to the hotspot or not, you can check it on the app. Go to the settings, additional settings and network info. This should show your hotspot. In my case, it's called the iPhone. After the initial configuration, you can set a schedule that the robot should run in and forget about it altogether. 
But if you need more flexibility, every time you need to operate your robot vacuum, you will need both the phones available and need to make sure that the robot is connected to your hotspot. It will not be blinking if it is connected. You need to do this before you can operate it on the app. I hope this was helpful. You may want to watch this video next on what I find good and not so good in the MI robot vacuum. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.